It's not an accident that soy sauce bottles have two spouts. The sauce is liquid and it flows out of the bottle pretty quickly once you turn it over. Most Asian food lovers have spilled it at least once in a lifetime. That's why nowadays, restaurants prefer serving soy sauce in special bottles that have two spouts. This design allows you to control when and how much sauce will come out. Just put your finger on one spout when you pour the sauce through another. If you press your finger tightly to the spout, the sauce will stop flowing, and if you remove your finger, it will flow again. Oh nuts! Not all pistachios are easy to get. Therefore, people have come up with many devices and life hacks to split the hard peel. But what if you don't have any useful tools around you? Well, try to open a pistachio with another pistachio. These little candles in metal cups are called tea lights for a reason. Japanese tea houses initially used them for keeping the tea warm during traditional tea ceremonies. And today, you don't need any special equipment to do the same thing at home. Put the candle in a bowl and place your kettle on top of the bowl. The diameter of the bowl should be narrower than the bottom of your kettle. You can use the same technique to keep your food warm and even surprise your guests with delicious fondue. I am fond of fondue. How about you? Don't rush to throw away the metal cups and wick holders. You can reuse them. Take a wick out of a regular candle and cut it into pieces of suitable length. Put the pieces inside the wick holders, then melt the wax and pour it into the cups. You can add essential oils and crumble wax crayons inside the wax to make your own unique and fragrant handmade candles. Metal candle cup is also a great tool to cut cookie dough into small circles. If you wear baseball caps, you probably wondered why they have these eyelets on the back. These small holes in each of the six crowns of the cap provide ventilation to your head. Also, if the size of the cap is too large, you can regulate it. Insert a lace into the eyelets and tighten them. It may look a little weird, but at least the cap won't fly away in the wind. A hair straightener is an excellent tool for not only treating your natural curls, but also for fixing crumpled money or documents. You can also use a regular iron for this purpose. Just make sure you don't turn on steaming mode. Otherwise, there's a risk of damaging the paper. Back to food. When your long-awaited yummy pizza finally arrives, don't rush to throw away the box. Tear the lid off along the fold line and divide it into four squares. Perfect disposable plates for pizza slices. Very handy when you eat outdoors or just don't want to wash the dishes. Well-known American bakery products, such as bagels and donuts, usually have one similar feature – a hole in the middle. The reason behind this phenomenon is more practical than aesthetic. When bakery manufacturers just started to cook donuts, they faced a problem. Donuts refused to bake evenly. The dough remained moist in the middle, while the edges got dry and crispy. So the manufacturers decided to leave holes in the middle of the buns, and it helped. If your washing machine breaks down, it may still serve you well. Pull out the drum and make a stylish brazier for your barbecue parties. Tea bags that we use today exist thanks to people's ignorance. No one knows exactly who invented them first, though. But one of the most popular legends says that American tea importer Thomas Sullivan offered samples of his tea packed in small silk pouches around a century ago. It was an easy and convenient way to organize tea tastings for potential wholesale buyers. But the customers took that too literally and began to brew tea by dipping the silk pouches directly into boiled water. And eventually, this brand new way of brewing became very popular. Clear nail polish has many areas of use. You can seal an envelope. Protect iron cans in your bathroom from rust. Apply it on fabric or lace to keep them from unraveling and even repair home items. If you've scratched any wood furniture or floors, nail supplies can help to avoid splinters and damaging the wood with water splashes. Rub the scratch with a nail file, apply clear nail polish, and wait until it dries and hardens. If your tights are torn, apply nail polish around the entire snag or hole. When the polish hardens, turn the tights inside out and repeat the same process. Doing this will prevent the hole from widening. Having a bunch of similar keys may confuse anyone. You can paint them in different colors using nail polish and save your time. Multicolored bristles on your toothbrush serve a practical purpose. When the color fades, 
consider it as a sign that it's time to change the brush. Acrylic and oil paints usually come in metal tubes. If you want to paint a masterpiece but struggle to open the tubes properly, take the plastic lid off and turn it over. There's a special tip inside the lid. It will help to pierce the protective metal layer. Just make sure you don't press too hard on the tube, otherwise the paint will squirt out unexpectedly. Whoops! Chopsticks are one of the most multifunctional inventions in the world. For example, you can use them to support indoor plants. Place one stick inside the soil vertically next to the plant and fix them together with a string. The chopstick is also a handy tool when you try to pour essential oil from one bottle to another, especially when the bottleneck is small. Grab a chopstick, put it vertically, and pour the oil slowly onto the chopstick. It will help to direct the oil into the bottle and avoid spilling it all over the place. Furthermore, when you need to remove pits from cherries or any other berries, chopsticks can help as well. Place the end of the stick in the center of the cherry, push, and pop out the pit. To make this even more convenient, place the cherry on the neck of a bottle. Also, don't rush to throw away disposable chopsticks. When you collect enough sticks, you can create handmade interior decorations. A mirror frame in the shape of a sun, a picture frame, or a wooden lattice for photo collages, to name a few. Just stick the chopsticks together with a glue gun and paint them in your favorite color. Speaking of interior design, and I was, dominoes can be used to make a stylish handmade wall clock. Put the 12 figures in a circle and stick them up instead of the corresponding numbers. Modern standard forks have four tines, not only because it's the most convenient and practical choice. One of the popular explanations claims that people had initially associated forks with a human palm, and tines symbolize the four fingers, except for the thumb. Lemons are good not only for lemonade, but for your feet, too. It can help to soften the skin on your heels. Cut the lemon into two halves, squeeze out the juice, and apply the peel on your heels. Then put socks over the peel and wait for 30 minutes. Remove the lemon halves, wipe the heels, and apply moisturizer. Hey, your feet are soft and beautiful! Hair bands are good not only for getting your hair done, but also to open a glass jar with canned food. Modern Market offers a variety of travel kits for males and females in all shapes and sizes. But there's an easier way. Surprise! A towel can serve not only as a towel, but also as a handy organizer. Lay a small face towel down on a flat surface and roll up one-third. Then draw vertical lines with the fabric to create pockets. Put all your toiletries inside the pockets and roll the towel. An eraser is a great tool when you need to remove small dark scuffs and traces from different surfaces in your house. And if your habit is to lose your earrings all the time, an eraser will help to deal with this issue. Just pin the earrings into the eraser when you don't wear them. You can use the same technique to keep needles and pins. Shiny shoes often have scratches and scuffs. Use an eraser to remove these imperfections and then wipe off the shoes. As for suede boots, an eraser can help to remove imperfections and dust. Just make sure that you rub your shoes gently and the eraser is soft and dry because suede is a rather fragile material. Use tape to make a fly trap. Hang a long piece of tape in the kitchen or by the window. The flies will stick to the tape. Stick pieces of tape on the legs of chairs that you often move across the floor. Doing so will protect your floor from scratches. If you're purchasing a special triangle cake knife, take two. Cutting and pulling out a piece of cake with two knives is way easier. Just squeeze both sides of the piece vertically and put it in a separate place. This way, the risk of damaging the cake is lower. And don't forget to cut me a piece. I like cake, really.